how to say pay my bills in Spanish. The only time having a boyfriend is worth it is when he is able to fully support you and pay all your bills. So I have zero shame in telling a man that after three months you are paying my bills. And if you're not, bye bye. Yes, I want you to pay my bills. Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone bills? Do you pay my automobiles? If you did, then maybe we could chill. I said it, I said it, I said it, and I'll say it again. The only time a man who is your boyfriend, he's not your husband, if you're gonna be a girlfriend to someone, he needs to be paying all, all, all your bills. Okay, ma'am, but what is your role in that relationship? What can you provide? What do you bring to the table if I'm paying all the bills? She brings herself, so basically nothing. Otherwise, why is he there? What is his purpose? Yeah, that's exactly my point. Why are you there? What's your purpose? You have none. Thinking about my boyfriend, he was in a major accident recently with like this car and like you know his body was like flailing around in the air and everything and like he's okay but it did kind of give me the ick okay. by the way guys if you want to learn how to not be so emotional anymore and how to be like me and not care then stay till the end of the video okay i am the problem i went on a date with this guy and he was like it's getting late do you want to come back to my place and i was like sure but i'm not gonna sleep with you like, that's not happening. And he was like, that's totally fine. Just come over. And I was like, cool. So I go to his place. He respects my wishes. He's so nice. He cuddles me all night. And I'm like, are you f***ing gay? Like, what? And, like, I, I, he, I just wanted him to, like, try. And then for me to be like, no. You know what I mean? I wasn't going to sleep with him. I, but I just, now I feel ugly. What did I tell you guys? They have no logic. It's all based on, on emotions. She feels like she's ugly because that guy didn't try to sleep with her. What did I tell you? They don't like the nice guys. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? bear. The bear. 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 Hey, you okay? You seem lost. I uh, know these woods like the back of my hand. I can get you back to your car. Or you can chill here with me. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, he's so cute! Ma'am, we need to go right now. Why are you so urgent, bro? It's kind of creepy. Yeah, you're giving intense right now. That's because he's a bear. Please, ma'am, I need you to come with me. This is the logic. Nah, you should come with me. I swear I won't eat you. Pinky swear? Pinky swear. Do not go near her. Why are you so controlling, dude? I think he's a narcissist. Ugh, my ex was a narcissist. I'm not doing that again. I am not trying... All the exes of all the women on TikTok were narcissists. All of them. It's crazy, right? All the men in the world are narcissists. I'm, date you. I'm trying to save your life. I literally specialize in nature survival. Huh. Gay. Wh what? Are you think <laughs> nature is your ally? I was born in it. We are three miles from the trail. The sun sets in 20 minutes. This is extremely dangerous. I made you a sandwich so you can relax and then we can have all my long shaboing. I love Italy. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing? I haven't eaten all day and it's your fault. You're the most beautiful, funny, loving girl I've ever met. Um, you're perfect. But I want to see if I can try and find someone better. Um, I used to be in a lesbian relationship. Not with a woman, of course, but with a man that was a bitch. Just remember that only men who are insecure or hollow in their masculinity want to be worshipped. So just keep that in mind when you're dating. Of course, you should never praise your husband, your boyfriend. You should always be entitled and argue as much as you can with him and maybe be more masculine than he is. That's, that's the best recipe to, to getting a man to marry you. My future husband is gonna be the luckiest man alive. I don't think there is a man that could walk on this earth and say I'm luckier than Tali's future husband. Okay, uh, the future husband, if you're seeing this video, you're not a man. Listen to me. You're not a man. Anybody that wants to date a woman like this after seeing this video, you're not a man. You're just a simp. Go buy some balls. You need them. No, 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 no possible. You may ask what makes you so different and unique. Let me tell you, okay? Not only am I pretty, I'm funny as well, okay? Not only am I pretty and funny, I can cook as well, okay? Not only am I pretty, 
funny and I can cook, I'm entertaining. If you're ever feeling especially crazy, just remember one time I was fully convinced that the guy I was talking to was talking to another girl, but I couldn't prove it. Instead of being okay. a normal civilized human being and just asking him, but men lie, so that probably wouldn't have worked. But instead of doing that, I literally I literally prayed at night, God, please send me his password. Send me his password. Just send me his password. Please, 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 please. Let me tell y'all, literally, God is my witness. I had a dream about it. I literally had a dream that I was typing in his password on a calculator and it's like, I broke the fourth wall in my dream and like looked at myself and I was like, shot up out of my sleep. I grabbed that phone. I typed in that number, babe, I got in the phone. I literally got in the phone. This is so stupid. Don't you get that your subconscious saw the password one time when you were sitting in bed, you saw the password without even realizing it. You had a dream about it because you already knew the password. I don't get how, how, how people in general are so stupid. I, I really don't get it. My past relationships have taught me that if another woman gets close to your man, he is the problem, not her. He's letting her feel wanted and welcome, which means he's saying and doing things that he shouldn't when you're True. not around. So the True. moment a man starts showing interest in someone else is when you leave and you don't look back. So he broke up with me over Snapchat. Over oh, Snapchat? <laughs> you didn't tell me that part. It was Snapchat. I thought it was text. I never use Snapchat. I always thought it was for, for kids. At the end of the day, I will always be thankful for the fact that I did not end up married to a man who took me to hell and back before he ever learned how to treat me well. And if you're feeling badly about being single today, remember that. Because of what feminism has turned society into, it's made women extremely self-serving. And True. it's not that women shouldn't care about themselves, but come on, we went polar. We went polar, like the opposite direction, and I think we started blaming men for every single issue and problem in the world. True. And People in general nowadays are so used to blame other stuff. They blame other stuff, other things for everything in their life. There is no accountability. No, it's, it's not my fault. It's because of this. It's because of that. It's because of this guy. It's because of this woman. No, it's because of you. There will always be people that have it worse than you. And they succeeded in whatever they, they did. A relationship, work, job, money, whatever. So you have no excuse. If they, could, they can do it, you can. So stop blaming other people and take accountability. Men have started, a lot of men have started bowing the knee to that. And no. that's just empowered these women more because if these men True. didn't allow women to continue with this narrative, if they said enough, it would be over. But so many of these men are just, they wanted to sleep with these chicks or something. Mm. And they're simps. They're very big simps. Girlfriend has a theory that people ghost so that they can keep the option open. Yeah, they want to burn a bridge. Okay, but here's the thing. The minute no, no. I ghost because I don't care about you. It's so easy. I really don't care. So I block you. It's so easy. Let him cheat. Let him leave. Let him text another girl. Let him mess up all the good in your relationship. There is nothing you can do. No amount of control you try to have over the situation will change the outcome of anything. True. As I told you before, you can't change somebody that doesn't want to change. No matter how pretty you are, no matter how much black cat energy you give, no matter how good of a woman you are, it's going to stop him from doing whatever he's going to do. If anything, it's gonna drive you insane trying to control the situation when you have no control of an outcome. I know it's easier said than done, but invoke the let them theory here. The moment you're able to adapt the let them theory into your mindset and put your faith into the universe and know that God is all Another woman talking about the universe. The universe doesn't care about you because the universe has no feelings, bad or good. It's not a living being. Always on your side. He's always working for you. A weight is literally lifted off your shoulders. Put your faith into something else rather than a human. Need I remind you that anything that is meant for you will not be lost. Stop trying to control an outcome and just let it be. If I'm dating somebody, they okay. are my built-in best friend. If I have a boyfriend, I don't have a male best friend. He is my male best friend. Why would I need another one? True. What's the biggest True. lie you've ever told someone you were dating? Probably that I loved them. <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> Fairs. She but doesn't you, mean it, she doesn't mean but it. You, knew, like, I swear you knew at that point that you didn't love them and said it. Yeah, listen, we've all been there. No, no, to speak for yourself. Okay, I'll speak for myself. I've been there. <laughs> 
I don't think the guys want an obese woman. What I think is that because a third of men have no chance in short-term dating, these men are settling for an obese woman. True. So what's happened is on dating apps. True, and not only that, women that are very old, single mothers, uh, women with a high body count, uh, women that are very masculine, uh, women with only fans, seems, because I can't call them men, accept everything from women just so they can smash. By the way, guys, you think I'm too judgmental and I judge people a lot online. How do you think I am in real life? I'm a hundred times worse in real life. I don't care if people don't like me. I really don't. I'm going to tell you the truth to your face. I don't care if you can't control your emotions, if you can't take criticism, because I'm just telling you so you can improve yourself. If you don't want to talk to me anymore, I really don't care. I don't. I'm going on a first date tonight with a guy that I match with on Hinge. Okay. I'm talking to my friend, telling her about the date. I think the guy's really hot. She's like, send me a photo. Obviously, I go into Hinge, screenshot a photo. I bet she already knows the guy <laughs> because they all want the same guys and they all swipe right on the same guys on dating apps. It's logical. I'm the best one. And I sent it to him. Oh. I sent the screenshot of his Hinge profile to him. Immediately I unsend because I realized my mistake. It doesn't matter. He already got a notification. So you can unsend it, you can delete it. He, he already got the notification. Obviously. But I really hope to God that this man has the iPhone update and that he never saw my message of the screenshot photo of his hinge because... Okay guys, so today I want to talk about a subject that I saw many of you commenting. Is it good that I don't care so much or is it bad? Guys, we all feel emotions. I'm not a robot. But I think it's very important to not give in to those emotions. I know a lot of you, maybe in certain situations, you feel anxiety. But that doesn't mean you have to act on it. If you are able and if you learn how to control your emotions and not give in to them, in time, it will feel so easy, it will feel like second nature, it will feel like, it, it will be so easy for you guys to control your emotions. So even if your brain is telling you you should be anxious, you don't have to act like that. You don't have to actually be like that. If you control yourself and, and you think in your brain, you repeat it, you repeat in your, in your head, I don't have to be anxious. I don't have to be anxious. This, this is just my brain. But I don't have to feel this way. In time, you can control those emotions. I control those emotions. That's why I say I don't care so much. Because I really don't care. Because even if I want, my, my brain says I should care. I don't. Because I train my, my mind to not, to not act on every emotions. Now, I've told you, I'm not a robot. I love my girlfriend. But that doesn't mean I have to care about everybody in any situation. No. I didn't care from, from, uh, from the start about my girlfriend. No, it was... Over time, after she showing me that I should care, thinking logically, what did she do? What didn't she do? Is it worth it for me to care about this person or not? I think logically I don't get ruled by my emotions. You don't have to give in to your emotions, guys. We are not women. And we are not cavemen anymore to give in to give in to our emotions we're intelligent we can think logically and you can train your brain into not acting on those emotions even if you feel them and in time you will be so good at it you won't have even have to think about it guys so is it so bad that i i don't care 
so much and I tell everybody that I don't care, I don't care? Or is it a bad thing? For me, at least, I think it's a good thing. I, I think it's a very good thing that I can control my emotions. Everybody has them, but you don't have to act on them. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.